It is an important video unveiling the motto of the most emerging and dangerous political party in India to show the real face of its founder and its president. It's none other than Mr. Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Party. That Arvind Kejriwal that exposes Delhi liquor policy scam. The Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia who has been arrested once and for all. Before getting into Aam Aadmi Party activity and their motto, let us look at their funding organizations. Arvind Kejriwal and Associate Chameleons doesn't know how to hide their character, nor their dubious funding. Here and there, they always show their true color, whatever they try to hide. In this video, I will show you their true intention for the nation. and dubious funding from suspicious ngos all around the world with some shocking proof the issue of aam aadmi party ngos is not just about arvind kejriwal or gujarat or rajasthan or even punjab election it goes beyond that kumar vishwas arvind kejriwal closest associate claims arvind kejriwal even if he loses the election he will become the first independent prime minister of khalistan by taking the help of separatists jo ki sabko pata hai punjab mein sabko pata hai कि एक दिन तो मुझसे कहता है कि तू चिंता मत कर या तो मैं एक स्वतंत्र सूबे का मुख्यमंत्री बनूंगा और मैंने कहा अलगाववाद ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का रेफरेंडम आ रहा है पूरी दुनिया फंडिंग कर रही है आईएसआई से लेके और बाकी अलगाववादी ग्रुप तो कहता तो क्या हो गया तो स्वतंत्र देश का पहला प्रधानमंत्री बनूंगा अरविंद केजरीवाल नेवर अग्रीड और डिस अग्री टू दिस क्लेम टिल नाउ इस रिसेंट विजिट टू कैनेडा बिफोर द पंजाब इलेक्शन प्रूव दैट इंटेंशन कालिस्तान वॉन्ट्स कैनेडा टू बी द कालिस्तान नेशन मोस्ट ऑफ कैनेडा पॉलिसी मेकर्स और पुशिंग कालिस्तानी मूवमेंट and let us look into where he gets fun all leads to not only to rule india but also to destroy the peace and the economy of the nation as well before going to this one significant thing most of us missed one part of india against corruption the iac movement was led by anna hazare but arvind kejriwal was back of it using anna hazare for vote bank after he gained popularity in the movement he just removed anna hazare from it note this one important thing in anna hazare movement only modi was not part of it iac is just a copy book of the world book agenda if you look at the pattern anti caa and delhi riots are just repetitions of iac before this moment there were similar moments happened across the world example tage square middle east uprising for democracy and ukraine events you will see the same pattern of it shmriti lee why are we bringing this character out of nowhere stay put for some time all these moments linked with her will prove in couple of minutes smriti lee mysterious researcher from new york university visited manish shishodia's ngo kabir foundation who is currently under investigation for delhi liquor scam and she prepared a report for kabir foundation public power india and other democracies in 2010 she assisted in kabir's campaign for the rti and local self rule at least that is what official version says after she left Coincidentally this IAC movement happened after that she went on to work actively in Egypt and left the country coincidentally coincidentally country witnessed Tage Square uprising after she left so much for coincidence right Ukraine recent events are much similar to Tage Square uprising demonstrations wherever she grows after she leaves coincidentally there is big catastrophe waiting to happen She has been active in Cairo, Haifa, Chad, Israel, India and the US. There's an allegation on her. She is a CIA operative asset. It is established in the new era that CIA operatives operate through the academic route. One such researcher could be Smriti Lee. Oh wait. Then CIA is helping Aam Aadmi Party? Way to get your brain blown. CIA is not just helping. CIA is the one who plotted Arvind Kejriwal and emerged through NGOs like Ford Foundation. He was foundation and Dutch embassy. You said what? Embassy? Yeah, Dutch embassy. Here are some proof of the documents Dutch involvement in our nation. We will reveal those proofs in the end of the video. Let's get back to IAC. IAC also same thing happened to collect the funds and sabotage the country. After IAC movement, it was a huge success for Arvind Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party. They followed all the secular things like. maintaining mass communication spending on media channels like quint news laundry scroll always praising them 
and buying out artists, Bollywood actors and so-called intellectuals of the country, which helps them lead the success road. Let's focus on IAC and sudden uprising of Arvind Kejriwal into national politics. Prashant Bhushan is an eminent member of IAC and a lawyer. He sympathizes and justifies and even fights for Moist in the courts. Kejriwal and Manish Shishodia both assisted Aruna Rai when she headed NAC, National Advisory Council. Aruna Rai is the person who is a petition against hanging of Ajamal Kesab terrorist who killed more than 30 people when he attacked Mumbai Taj Hotel. Like her, all of the Aravind Kejriwal associates are linked with terrorists or anti-national activities like V. Balakrishnan, Yogendra Yadav, Deep Joshi, Amit Wilson and so many. I will expose their activities and connection in the end of this video. Okay, let's come back to who funded IAC. Main movement for IAC is funded by Awas.org. Subramani Swami claims and alleges $4 lakh dollars just to launch civil strife for them. This organization has campaigned rigorously to dethrone the Middle East regimes of Tunisia, Libya and Egypt. It is banned in almost all Middle Eastern countries. This organization is solely funded by George Soros. With the help of all these and many other NGOs and their ecosystem as well, Aravind Kejriwal came into national politics within two years. How he became Prime Minister candidate within two years? In politics, within two years of experience, can anyone become Prime Minister candidate? Forget about being a Prime Minister or getting Prime Minister candidate. Can anyone even become a Chief Minister candidate? That is impossible, right? He and his associates had a huge backing from Ford Foundation and other foreign entities. Ford Foundation founded them through Kabir Foundation and through so many other ways. Remember this name, Ford Foundation. This foundation not only disrupted India, and it made so many countries suffer very badly. Ford Foundation is donation or linked with so many anti-national activities. Ford Foundation has a direct link with CAA. I will show you some of the proofs here. This is the official document of CAA which got leaked. About this Ford Foundation will also be revealed in this end of this video. Now back to Kejriwal. Let's look at Kejriwal's history. He was born in 1968, studied IIT, B.Tech, Mechanical Engineering, Karagpur. He started working as assistant manager in the Tata Iron and Steel and joined the IRS service in 1992. His date of appointment is 1993. Kejriwal took study leave from the government when he was working between November 2000 to October 2002 after signing the bond. Kejriwal was paid a salary under this condition that he would not leave the service for at least three years upon returning from the study leave. During this leave, he conveniently founded an NGO called Parivartan. He received the first installment of $80,000 from the Ford Foundation in 2002. This is equal to his 15 years salary. He got his installment while he was serving and getting a salary from the Indian government as well. This is a link for the Ford Foundation funding. Important point to note. Usually, IRS officers get transfers after 3 years. During his IRS service, he never once got transferred. Neither did his wife as well. First time he got transferred, he proceeded on leave. He didn't get any transfers because Sonia Gandhi helped him this bit. And NAC chairperson to Prime Minister and Finance Minister to stop his impending his transfer. And promoted as a Joint Commissioner, IT on 2003. In 2004, he received the Ahsoka Fellowship. This is not given by Indian organization. It is given by US registered organization. And it is believed the sins of Cold War, this organization has been creating human assets for the expanding American influence to all around the world. He applied for resignation in 2006. In the same year, he got Raman Magsaysay Award. The foundation references mentioned for his biography were mainly resources of CAA. Current web page was deleted. It is available on Wayback Machine. Check this link out. Let's look at who all got this Raman Magsaysay Award. Aruna Rai, mentor of Aravind Kejriwal. Tisla Saral Ward, Anand, Sandeep Pandey, Admiral Lakshmi Narayanan Ramdas. There are many, but one connection they all, they all perfectly connected with Ahmadmi Party and anti-national ecosystem. Magas SA Foundation itself was planted by CAA. This declassified document of CAA reveals the same. This document shows not only Magas SA, and Ford Foundation is also part of CAA. How did Arvind Kejriwal get this award? He got featured because of the World Bank project. The case of award was advocated by Aruna Rai and Narayana Murthy. Narayana Murthy? Yeah, Narayana Murthy. None other than the Infosys founder 
and he is a trustee of the Ford Foundation. He gave 25 lakhs per year from 2009 to Arvind Kejriwal for RTA Act. How his foundation got the World Bank project without getting covered under any Indian Act? So from the World Bank project website, they mentioned from the 30 to 32 page Arvind Kejriwal and Parivartan. The project has been given to his Parivartan Foundation. Has Kejriwal talked about this anywhere? Perhaps you guys can ask this question to him. Now we know how his sudden entry into politics and sudden growth as well. He has a big. entity supports and funds coming from foreign countries and to support them locally their ecosystem works very well what more he needs aam aadmi party most of the candidates have their criminal background let's look at gujarat candidates 20% of his candidates have serious criminal records like rape and murder aam aadmi party and arvind kejriwal close associates why all of them run into anti national activities or activism of some kind His promises on Mohanlal clinics and free education and free electricity, making Delhi people enjoy now and suffer later. This pattern has been implemented by Aam Aadmi funders as well. We exposed who is funding Arvind Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party. Those same foundations like Ford, he was, and many other funding a lot of countries to destabilize their economy and riots. This is their pattern for India as well. Arvind Kejriwal is not delivering his promise to the people. but finally he is delivering to his masters spending thousands of crores on media to stabilize the damage in the media making use of congress vote bank and replacing congress but his party is no less dangerous than congress you can clearly see after arvind kejriwal came into power in delhi lot of riots happened there are so many alleged claims he fueled and funded the caa riots and farmers protest as well you can see this is in the punjab as well The sudden uprising of Khalistani movement in Punjab after Arvind Kejriwal came into power. Now Khalistanis are openly claiming they will take over the Punjab. I think it's already in the progress. And his recent visits to Canada and uprising Khalistani movement in Punjab and Khalistani elements in farmer protest are coincidentally happening, right? At the end, I said I will reveal some proofs about Ford Foundation. He was foundation and Dutch embassy. and their connection with associates of aam aadmi party and ngos in india we are coming up with exposed series of all these foundation and their connection linking with anti national activities deep research is going on soon we will expose them i request you to support me to bring out the series and make my videos regularly available to you you can support my work through patreon and other mediums links are available in the description Please share this video as much as possible. Namaskar.